constraint to a column within a table and how we can then remove a unique constraint from a column. So if you remember a column with a unique constraint applied to it means that it won't accept any duplicate values of data within that column. So you can't add the same value twice into that column. So you can see here I've typed out the SQL for how to add a unique constraint to a column. We type alter table followed by the table name and then we type add constraint followed by the name we give to this unique constraint. Then we type unique followed by the column where, which we actually want to give the unique constraint in brackets. And then to remove a unique constraint from a column we type alter table again followed by the table name and then we type drop index followed by the constraint name. And here I've just run the query select star from pets and basically what this select star from a table does is it returns all the columns and all the rows of data we have in that table. So you can see down here we have the ID, name, species and owner ID columns from the pets table. So just type out select star from pets and run that. And when we created our pets table, we didn't add any unique constraints to any of the columns. So let's do that now. Let's add a unique constraint to the species table. So to do that, we need to come in here and we need to type alter table pets. And then on the next line, we can add constraint and just come up with a constraint name. So let's say you underscore species for unique species then type unique and then type the column name in brackets so it's going to be the species column and then we can end with a semicolon so let's run that query now and we now have a unique constraint on the species column within the pets table so if we tried to add repeating rows of data in the species column, let's say we wanted to add dog twice or cat twice, it wouldn't actually let us do this. We can only have unique values now. And since it doesn't really make sense to have a unique constraint on the species column within the pets table, let's now remove that unique constraint. So we need to type alter table followed by the table name, so pets, and then we need to type drop index followed by the constraint name, which is u underscore species. And then we can just run this query. And we now got rid of the unique constraint from this column. So that's it for adding unique constraints to a column and removing unique constraints to a column. The only difficult thing to remember is that when you're removing a unique constraint, you type drop index rather than drop unique or drop constraint.